Aside from the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo GameCube has got to be my favorite Nintendo console that has ever been released. I mean, the Nintendo 64 was pretty awesome in my opinion. It had such fun games like Mario Super Mario 64, being able to explore Peach's castle and jumping into those pictures exploring those lands. That was awesome! And Ocarina of Time Legend of Zelda, that was just super fun. But since they're now on Nintendo Switch Online, I can play those anytime I want. Plus, the Nintendo 64 did have those weird controllers that, for some reason, had that third handle to them. So it's like, you need at least like a third hand, which I don't get. I didn't get why they designed it like that, I just did. Um, but yeah, the Nintendo GameCube was just the very first game system that I, as a kid I could really appreciate. So I was about um, five years old when the Nintendo GameCube was first released to the public. Uh, we got ours as a family for Christmas one day and it was the most funnest thing we ever got for Christmas. We got so many fun games for it. One of the things we got was the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, which had, um, like, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, the original very first Zelda game, and Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. And I remember that morning we spent hours playing on the GameCube. And this got me thinking, why hasn't the Nintendo GameCube come to the Nintendo Switch online membership store? I mean, it would get so much publicity if Nintendo finally added the GameCube to it. I mean, they've already added so many other systems. I'm, this isn't the first time I've talked about wanting a gaming system be to come to Nintendo Online. Uh, if you check out this video, I'll leave a link to it below. But I also talked about the Nintendo Wii coming online. But I want to talk about some GameCube games that I just wish would come along online if GameCube ever went online. So, let's get right to it. The first game that I want to talk about, which would be amazing to play online on the Switch for GameCube, would be Mario Kart Double Dash. If, <laughs> this game was so much fun when it first came out. Uh, my family got it for Easter. Like, I think my sister got it in her Easter basket one year when I was like seven years old. She got it. And we had so much fun with it. If you remember Double Dash, uh, you got to be able to choose the car and your racer. But with the twist on that, they were two-person carts. So you could build your team like you could choose uh, one uh, a driver, could be Mario. And he wouldn't have to pick Luigi like... Um, you would have person on the back of the cart throwing items like a banana or a red shell or putting in a mystery box where people would they drive into it, they would crash. Uh, you could choose like um, a team up between Mario and, I don't know, um, Princess Daisy or Bowser and King Boo. It was so much fun. Such great races too. Like there was... Um, this one race where it was like, uh, I think it was like the Toad Bridge or something, where you could drive on top of the ramp, which was really hard to stay on top and go all the way through to the bottom. But it was really cool to do it, because like a shortcut, I would guarantee you to come in first. There was also a baby park. There was dry, dry desert. So many fun course races. And um, it was just awesome to be able to build a team of most random characters. Like have Yoshi working with Toad. Have Luigi and Waluigi working together. It'd be, it's such a fun game for the GameCube, and to have this to be on Switch Online, that would make it so much better. Because not only is it fun for the GameCube, but 
it would be a masterpiece if it came to Switch online for the GameCube. So, if you do have it for GameCube, definitely thumbs up for you guys. If you have it, please, Nintendo, bring GameCube to online and bring Double Dash with you. The next game that I want to talk about is something I've already talked about on the Wii, but I'm putting this one on it again because it originally came out for the GameCube and was ported to the Wii, and that is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I've... I just need to talk about this one again because I love Twilight Princess so much. Even though I grew up playing Ocarina of Time and I love exploring the Shadow Temple and Spirit Temple, things like that will never get old. I just am so drawn into the world of Twilight Princess. I mean... You can't beat that western scene of Twilight Princess where Link is in the hidden village and he's shooting those goblins and all the while you got that western music going on. Oh man. And then later in the game, like, um, Link is snowboarding down the mountain to get to the Yeti village, Yeti mansion, and then he fights Blizzetta, uh, the Yeti's wife that turns evil. It's just, the game had so much going on to it, which is amazing. Like, Stalord in Arbiter's Grounds. Arbiter's Ground is so dark uh, and creepy fighting those skeletons. And then you got Stalord himself, which Zant brings to life. And near the end of the game, you got this uh, boss fight with Zant as he takes you through all those temples that you've already fought all the bosses in. Then you finally get to fight him. Oh, dude, just Twilight Princess is such a fun game. I love it. Like, I think it's better than um, both Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Like, if I were to say my top three, they would probably go um, Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, and then Breath of the Wild. Those would be my top three Zelda games. But Twilight Princess... Definitely, for sure, either GameCube or Wii, they need to come on to Nintendo Switch Online or have a physical copy because it's such a great game and it is a game that does not deserve to be forgotten like other Zelda games have been forgotten in the past. Another game that definitely should come to the GameCube Online when it eventually does, I'm not saying that... Uh, if it eventually does, I'm saying when, because I know in the future it's going to come. Anyway, one of the games that definitely needs to come online is uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl Melee. This was another game that um, me and my sisters, we bonded over, just playing these Nintendo characters, just beating the crap out of each other, like Yoshi versus Link, or Mario versus uh, Princess Peach, playing all these characters, like on the top of Princess Peach's castle, or um, in a, a planet on Metroid in Samus's world. And it was just super fun to explore the world of Smash Brothers Melee. Plus, the story of, um, like, the story mode and adventure mode were really fun. Like, they were super linear, which made it enjoyable. Like, there was no deep, dark backstory that Brawl or Ultimate have to it. Rather, it's just you choose your character, and, uh, you go through different, um, stages fighting different characters until it takes you to Master Hand, where you beat Master Hand, you go through this cool, like, credit thing where you get to blast the credits, and then you get a trophy of the character that you play as. It was super fun! It's fun being able to play your friends or whoever and unlock all these different characters that you can play to beat up other characters throughout the game. Super Smash Brothers just had a feeling of a beat em ups adventure that you just can't beat. It had enjoyment to it that was amazing and yeah!
It'd be one of those games where you would literally just, like, faint from excitement if it came onto the Nintendo Switch online when it comes. So, yeah. When it comes with GameCube online, it definitely better come with it because it is one of those games where you can all put down because it just draws you into it. Super fun, and I hope it comes soon. Another great Zelda game that was on the Nintendo GameCube, which would be amazing if it came to Switch Online, was Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I know a lot of people were very, like, nervous about The Wind Waker. They still don't like how cartoony it is. But I love the whole concept of The Wind Waker. How it, once you, um leave the island. It is so cool to be Link, uh, to be able to ride this bow across the sea to find, um, different lands. Meet this little fish guy. He gives you little maps where you can explore the oceans. It has great sailing music to it. It just feels like you're Link as a pirate, and even as pirates in this game, which is even cooler. But it just has a great feeling of open world exploration. You can just sail the seas forever. It is awesome. And plus, just the soundtrack to this game was great. Like, Dragon Roost Island, exploring that island, figuring out what to do, fighting the different bokoblins and different enemies on that island. Meanwhile, you're having this great music going on in the background that has, like, this Spanish feel to it, yet it still has this great advanced sense of adventure and danger to it. It's awesome! Plus, retreating the Master Sword is probably one of the greatest things of this game, where you first get to the Temple of Time, like, everything's frozen in time, like, it's all black and white, and then when Link pulls out the Master Sword, it all goes to color, and he has to fight his way out of the Temple of Time. That is probably one of the coolest things that the game has to it. Black and white, and then going color. Kind of like a Wizard of Oz type thing. <laughs> Super fun. The action to it is really cool. The temples to it are amazing. The music to it is a super earworm feeling to it. And just the feeling of ocean and open world. It's just a game that you can't beat. Like, it's... Playing the Wind Waker can be annoying, like the musical instrument Link uses. It's kind of stupid. I'd rather wish they had just stuck with an ocarina. But you can forget about that. It's a super fun game. I give it a 10 out of 10. It can be hard. Definitely can be hard. It can be challenging. But the bosses are super easy. Like, the dungeons are hard. Bosses, super easy. I love the game. I love every aspect of that game because it was just my type of game. I'm not just saying that because I'm a major Legend of Zelda fan. Just a really fun game and I really wish it would come online when Nintendo GameCube comes online because it deserves nothing worse, nothing better. The last game that needs to come on to Nintendo GameCube that I really, really need to have to play on the Switch is the original Luigi's Mansion. Uh, I've talked about this before um, when I was playing Dark Moon, but this, the original Luigi's Mansion gave me nightmares as a kid. Like, I was like five or six when the first game came out, and watching my dad play that game, it scared the hell out of me, guys. Like, it's terrifying! As a six-year-old, you're seeing L Luigi being beat up by these ghosts that look so real. Like, they're not the cartoony ghosts that they look like in Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3. They are see-through, they have, like, different pitched voices to them. Sometimes they're really high, sometimes they're low or deep, or just sit in between, and they're creepy looking. The bosses are super fun in this game, though. I learned to really appreciate the 
action in this game. The bosses are amazing. Like, um, Luigi versus Bogmire. That's one of the creepiest boss fights in the original. Yet, it is really fun. I also love that they put Bowser in this, even though he's a robot that King Boo controls and you fight them both. At the end of the game, super fun boss fight where you're on the roof of the mansion and everything is on fire. You just can't beat this game. It brings you into a world of horror action and it's just amazing. Plus, I really don't see any reason why the original Luigi's Mansion shouldn't come on to Switch now. I mean, we've already gotten it Nintendo Switch Luigi's 2. Dark Moon already out, barely out, and now uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 came out like two years earlier before Dark Moon came ported onto the Nintendo Switch. So, really, now that we have two Luigi's Mansions on Switch, I really don't see any reason why the very first Luigi's Mansion can't come onto the Nintendo Switch. So, if it ever does, I hope it comes online because the very first one is the best. The second one terrible. I'm playing third one right now. It's okay, but it's not number one. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion number one, the best one. Which is why it needs to come online to play. In my opinion. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you agreed with me of what I said about the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Nintendo GameCube being ported online to the Nintendo Switch system. We can play so many of these fun games, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Smash Brothers. So many great games from the GameCube can come online if Nintendo ever decides to bring the GameCube online. Anyway guys, that is all I have to say about that. If you think other great games from the GameCube should come online, please leave that in a comment below. And yeah, we'll see you next time.